Hi, I'm Unit 1, Captain of the Flying Dutchman. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Thank you. I have no plan for today, just live streaming. We're gonna do some PvP. I've got already in my team B Royce. And for Yoda, well, I think as well, Q as no as soon as you know that uh, as as soon as you know we're gonna queue. So I think it's gonna be an awesome day today. It's a little bit quiet in game. I like that. It's not that too busy and um, evil doing Don King Sansac already said Q for the arena unit. We're gonna do that. Don't worry, we're gonna queue. And get killed by a healer, yes. <laughs> Last time that happened, he's making fun of it. And uh, it, it can happen. Yeah, you can get killed by a uh, healer. Uh, I'm sorry I did that. Uh, I have got more faith in myself today. Uh, but uh, first, I'm gonna put a little back, uh, background uh, music uh, on it. So, one second. So I did some music, hopefully you guys cannot hear it uh, because of uh, some YouTube rights, so uh, yeah. Um, yeah, let's do this, let's, uh, let's start killing, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's do this. Uh, perhaps uh, we can use you as a heater, but uh, it's uh, not uh, the match, so uh, let's, let's queue, let's, let's do this. Uh, today I'm in my Odyssey uh, with the last uh, match uh, build that I had. Uh, let's see how it will do today, let's see, let's do it. And meanwhile, while we're cute, um, I gonna make sure that my R&D is running. Always keep your mind on the R&D. It's uh, yesterday. It was the 24th. Uh, that's payday uh, in real life for me, and uh, uh, it's as well real payday in Star Trek Online. So I've got 500 free Zen to spend since I'm a lifetime subscriber. Uh, and uh, on what I gonna spend it? Uh, hey, hey, Royce. Thanks for watching and being a part of this uh, this stream as well. Um, you can jump in Teamspeak if you would like. You guys can just jump in. Uh, my uh, ad handle is in the video description and the uh, Teamspeak address as well. Let me see. Am I in Teamspeak? Yes, I am in Teamspeak. Nobody is here now, but um, so. Yeah, now it's waiting for the pop, guys. It's waiting for the pop for the arena. 
Come Q and kick my ass. We need one more. And uh, let's do this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's gonna be a good day today. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Cool, cool. Darren is uh, queuing. I uh, wonder what chip he's using today. It's gonna probably be the healer, so I hope he's uh, on our side. Uh, let's uh, combine our forces. <laughs> well, let's do this. How many more do we need? How many more? Ah, nobody. There we go, guys. There we go. It's gonna be an awesome match, or I get slaughtered. I just don't know, but let's do it. Pop. Yes. I hope everybody's doing good. Um, if you're uh, watching, please uh, hit the like button. Unless you don't like it, then un uh, unsubscribe or hit the uh, unlike button. But uh, of course, I'm gonna do my best to uh, make you uh, entertained today. Uh, so I'm gonna spend my 500 sen. But uh, I have no no idea on what. Perhaps I'm gonna uh, use some. Um, um, put it on uh, some uh, boxes. Uh, I'm sorry, keys. Let me see how many are the keys still for sale? No, of course not. No. Well, uh, perhaps I can buy some ten, ten keys. I don't know. Just uh, we're gonna see how it will uh, end up today. And uh, are we gonna go in? Yes, yes. There we go. We're gonna go to the arena. Make sure that my sound is not too loud. Uh, let me see. 500 cent rich gift. No, it's uh, it's not It's not free. I paid once 300 euros for a lifetime lifetime subscription. So it's not uh, Not free. I think uh, the sound is uh, balanced Okay, let's do this ladies and gentlemen. I forgot my buffs. I forgot my buffs uh, And evil Don King sent wants to kill me today but uh, he's in the opposite team, and we've got here uh, B-Royce, so I think we have got a good chance, to be honest. I'm sorry, Darren, but... Wow, we've got some really strong players in the opposite team. They're strong. They heal on uh, very well. They can uh, resist a lot of damage. Which is good, of course. Ha! Got one! First blood! First blood was by the Flying Dutchman, ladies and gentlemen. And um, But we have got two players, the uh, Trendyol and uh, Emperor Yoda, who are really uh, good tanking at the moment. Really good tanking. But there he bleeds. He bleeds!
Really amazing tanking here, guys. And there goes Darren in his healer build, I think. Yep, and he was defeated. He was defeated, and healer that got defeated. I don't know it's what's worse. Being or killed by a healer, or being a healer and get killed. <laughs> no, we love you there, you know. Today I'm gonna take a look at the uh, new uh, the new build of the new um, uh, Sona battle uh, ship that has uh, come from the lockbox. I've got it already for a week uh, or two, uh, but I still didn't have a build on it, and uh, I still need to unlock the trade. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do after this, I think. I need to adjust my uh, my strategy a little bit. Yeah, I was going for the weakest link, uh, since otherwise this match will take ages. Uh, fire on my mark is on the uh, trend yule, and there he goes, he's burning. And there he goes, no shields. And now let's go on Emperor Yoda, since there's no other target. And where's Darren? Oh, there he is at full health. He's back at full health. Wow, well done. But his saw is triggered, I think. I don't see his saw though, but. Um oh, there he is, go. He's burning. Let me pop those torpedoes in his ass. Come on, take them. <laughs> Enjoy your tactical fleet, guys. I need to get the hell out of the drain here. I'm drained. Oh, there I go. Emperor Yoda, come on, let me get close. Derry, bye bye. This view will not survive. Or he does. Wow. He does. He comes back at full health. Almost. Unbelievable. Ha! <laughs> got you. I got you. Okay, next. Next target. It would be more fun if he was in my team, to be honest. But, uh, hey, PvP is PvP, eh? Let's go for Alexandra. b is calling targets. And he's hidden. I've put everything on him. All of us strikes.
Nice. And there is the next victim, Emperor Yoda. <laughs> I wonder if he's got even a saw on it, because I don't see anywhere a saw. I've got Alexander who's trying to uh, to hound me down. He's not very successful at it, but um, at least he can take a lot of damage. But so can the Dutchman. And I'm starting to uh, burn him. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, there he goes, guys. His last moments alive. His last moments alive. He's trying to recover his health, but I know he's burning. He's back at 100%, popping all his use. But will be enough. I'm sorry, uh, B. Royce, but I'm on, uh, on Alexander at the moment. Good tanking. All, I almost had him earlier. So I'm convinced that I can kill him. Since he's not running any salt trade. But now he's cloaking. So I think I'm gonna focus on the Emperor Yoda again. I'm not gonna play hide and seek here. I'm gonna play PvP. <laughs> I saw B-Royce vaping him like bum 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 and he was gone. That was amazing. And I was struggling fighting him all the time. Really a lot of DPS. Putting fire on my mark on the Emperor Yoda. Gonna pop everything that I've got on him. Engineering team. Tactical fleet. There he goes. There he goes. Bye bye. Yeah, that was expected. I have put in everything that I had on him. So that's a lot of damage at the, the first seconds. And somebody's running.
Bye bye. It's, uh, if somebody is at 20% health and he's just sitting there stuck and I hear my torpedoes going out, I just know I got him. It's, uh, there's no chance to escape that. Torpedo is really hard, uh, well, he hit really well, I'm sorry. And there he goes. Bye bye. Well done. So we've got uh, a few more kills, and our team is clearly overpowered. So there's no joy for the other team. No joy, and I mean it in every way. And then they have no chance. And that's. Um, yeah, that's not good. Wow. Bye bye, Emperor Yoda. Bye bye, mate. Live long and prosper. It's, uh, Alexandra. And then it's over. Almost over this fight. Well, it was not really a fight, it was more a player slaughter. I took my revenge from uh, last match that uh, the healer had killed me. <laughs> bye bye. Wow, that was nice, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hex cheats? We're not. We're not hexing. What the fuck? We're not. I never. I never ever do something like hacking. How do you come to this? And uh, yeah, who was training? He was. Who was training? Well, we did, uh, it was okay. Thank you guys. That was a pretty solid build I had going on this match.
thank you for the match and um, I'm sorry that I killed you all I'm sorry Hero is well played man fuck that was really good uh, yeah we had a solid pretty solid team uh, oh ding dong the train okay I didn't know that so uh, some people uh, were screaming that uh, hex cheats well I never hack everybody can see what I'm doing so I'm not concerned about that but um, yeah it was a fun uh, match evil uh, Don King Sansac um, I thought he uh, would uh, wanted to kill me today but um, he was in my team so uh, he was not able to do this um, so what I gonna do now guys uh, I gonna I think I gonna spend six more euros to get uh, 10 lockbox keys and then I gonna open more lockboxes I gonna open then uh, 10 lockboxes uh, and then because I really need the uh, the lobbies that's why and for the rest I don't need anything from the store and it's much cheaper to buy 10 uh, so I'm just gonna uh, buy uh. but for that I'm gonna hit my hide my screen because I don't want to see you uh, guys my credit card um, um, thingies That's better. Let me buy for uh, 10 euros more. Uh. Yeah, I saw somebody saying in the chat he's not. Uh, uh, Darren said Yoda is not Falcon because I said live long and prosper, but uh, I know it's uh, it's not. That's my mistake. I'm almost done guys. Okay. I'm done here. Let's go back to the stream. I'm back. So let's uh, let's uh, buy uh, some uh, keys. Um I'm going to buy now two uh, 10 packs. Um so this is not on Tribble, this is the real deal. I don't think I get a ship, but that's not my aim. I just want to have the uh, lobbies. Uh, if I get a ship, I will be just fucking happy, of course. But uh, like I said, I'm not aiming for a, for a ship. I think. Um, I think I'm gonna do some stuff. As well. I need to clean up a little bit in my inventory. So I'm gonna put some stuff in my bank. And of course my bank is filled as well. I'm uh, I'm I'm running out of space. Uh, perhaps I should just put some stuff on the exchange very soon. Um yeah. Oh this uh, this thing I need to discard that uh, that console. Otherwise I put it on every time. So we had an awesome match. Thank you for that, guys. I enjoyed it. Uh, so I've got 20 keys. Um, and I need to make some space in my uh, because usually I get a lot of crap out of those uh, boxes, of course. Okay, I think I'm ready for this. Uh, there we go. There we go. Opening uh, 20 lock boxes, guys. Uh, first, I'm gonna uh, share the screen a little. Uh, the the, um, the sh I'm gonna spend the uh, this live stream. A little bit with the uh, people, so they can actually see what I'm opening.
So for the guys who are just jumping in right now, hello, thank you for watching. I'm Unit 1, Captain of the Flying Dutchman. I'm sure you have ever seen this ship or you played with me because this ship is really old in this game. I mean like this ship has been around for 6 years now. So I'm pretty sure you have seen the Flying Dutchman. If not, you've seen it on YouTube probably. And I'm its captain, Unit 1. And let's let's do this. Hey, look, it's my friend again. Uh, hello, man. So there, there I go. I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open up uh, boxes. I'm gonna open the Sona boxes. Uh, uh, Royce, you've got any better su su uh, suggestions? Okay, I'm gonna open ten uh, of these. Yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna open them up right now, guys. There we go. Wow, a research development pack. That's amazing. Wow. Another one and a half euro spent on a special equipment pack. Uh, the infinity lockbox. I will do that too. I will gonna open 10 of those. A Sonas module. Wow. Uh, I just, nice, nice trade. Wow, another research and development. Infinity lockbox, yes, but I just gonna try to have that chip one more time. Oh wow, duty officers. Okay, okay, okay. I've opened up now 10, 10 boxes and now I'm gonna go for the infinity, uh, but I need to buy them from the exchange. I'm gonna listen to B-Royce. So 10 boxes on the Sona and I had no, nothing, but like I said, um, I really don't need it to ship anyway. I wanted to have the lobbies. How many lobbies did I get for this? Let me check. Um, probably not that much. 47, 47 lo lobbies for 10 boxes. That's really bad. Wow, this game is really <laughs> rip off sometimes. Uh, okay, all oh, log boxes. Do I do I write them wrong? Infinity, right? Oh, I, I'm looking for keys. That's one. There we go. Yeah. Wow, they are quite expensive, to be honest. Ten of those is gonna cost me uh, like 200k. And he says, always uh, crap. Uh, how many have for seven? So three more. Okay, there we go. There we go. Watch the screen, ladies and gentlemen. Watch the screen. Um, okay, Infinity Logos. I'm just gonna discard these boxes. Bye bye. There we go. Wow, and a personal trade ground. Always nice, huh? For my uh, new um, tune. A ten Terran Empire kit. Nice. Somebody saying something? Oh, somebody uh, said, don't waste your money. Yeah, I know, it's, I shouldn't do it. Right, but uh, this game has to make money somehow, anyway. But I need to lobby, and the only way to get lobby is to get opening boxes. And I did open uh, 20 boxes, and I was like... 20 euros and I didn't get anything um, special although I get a, a ground trade and a, a nice uh, a space trade I, I kept this in mind that this would happen I wanted to have the lobby and I've got 127 lobbies for 20 euros <laughs> so basically if you want to uh, for example uh, the uh, Sona Intel cr Battle Cruiser you need to spend at least 10 times this amount, no, 
um, hundred nine nine times this amount. So nine nine times twenty euros. That's a lot of money if you want to buy this uh, this uh, cruiser uh, through the uh, lobby store. That's uh, amazing, a lot of money. But now I'm gonna tell you honestly why I'm opening boxes uh, to get the lobby because I am so fucking stupid. I opened up this uh, university uh, prize uh, thingy. I wanted to have this uh, two of this. Uh, 2017 anniversary event. Uh, I want to have this ship. I was out at sea at the moment that this event was going on. Um, uh, it was a lot of money. Uh, I'm saying I see all kinds of um, um, comments in the chat. Let me let me check it out. One, one second. Somebody saying that it would be cheese of uh, cheaper if I would buy um, uh, buy from the exchange uh, and and somebody said always listen to B-Rolls if you're opening boxes and I did I did I just opened ten uh, Sona boxes and ten uh, so it was fifty fifty I listened to myself and to B-Rolls but both I didn't get really something special. Um, but what I was saying, why do I open this lockbox? I need the lobbies. I, I don't need any console from it or something, but I need something else. Uh, I was at work, I was at uh, C when this uh, university of uh, the university event was going on, and um, you could get this free ship. But I missed this complete event. I was able to slot it, but not to finish it. So now I need to open up these uh, vouchers in time it will take a long time to get that ship uh, and that's what I'm gonna do because like I said I want to have that ship what it costs what it costs I want that console that's on that ship so um, and like like I see I spend now 20 euros on a free ship and I how many of those things I will Wow, I'm not even halfway there. This ship's gonna cost me a lot of money while it was a free ship. And that's happened to me a lot of times uh, because of my job. But normally I can handle a loss. Uh, sometimes you can get those ships from the um, Funic boxes that come out. But uh, I want to have that ship and the only way to get it uh, is to do it like this. So uh, that's uh, that's my, uh, my problem at the moment. Um, at least I've got some awesome trades that I can sell on the exchange. For example, punch it. I don't know how for how much it's going now. Um, yeah, and, and B-Royce luckily understand what I'm saying. I need I need to have these uh, lobbies. Um, otherwise, I would not even open boxes. And in time, it will come. I mean, like if I do this like once a month, eventually I will get the ship anyway. So. And that's uh, the main thing. Um, yeah, I wanted to see how much this uh, trade is going for. Point shit. Well, one point nine. <laughs> that's not much. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I feel uh, really. Uh, I lost a lot of uh, money on. Uh, Getting almost there, but uh, it's always fun to see people opening up lock boxes. At least I enjoy it, uh, so you can watch it back. And last time I was really lucky. I opened just two lock boxes, two lock boxes, and you know what happened? I got a ship, and that ship was a lot of worth on the exchange. I believe 390 million, and I gave it away to this little fellow here because uh, this guy is really amazing PvP player and. Uh, he doesn't have always luck like we do, like we have, and it was a science ship. And I've got the tactical ship, and that's what I want to do today, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I want to um, unlock the trade from the ship, but first I'm gonna hit my loadout on the Dutchman. I don't want to see you guys.
One second, guys. In the game, this is the uh, Zona's Intel Battle Crew, and I still need to. Um, I still need to unlock this trade. It's an amazing uh, uh, trade. Um, whenever I'm having a um, high heat and, and a transport warhead, I can cause anomalies, which is amazing. I want to unlock this trade, guys. Um, so I'm gonna set this ship up and I'm gonna do some uh, stuff with it. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's a really good ship, I don't know. Uh, Fenya Konfa, thank you for watching, guys. Really, I like uh, the fact that you guys are watching. Thank you for that, really awesome. Um, yeah, that's nice. I've got the ship now, I'm gonna set it up. Uh, so I gonna unlock the, the, the trade uh, because I really want to have that trade. Um, I don't know if you guys want to help me with uh, unlock this uh, this ship. I'm gonna show you guys how the, how you can actually uh, do this. We're gonna go to Jabori system. If you guys want to uh, as well unlock uh, a ship trade or uh, you need to level a ship. Then uh, give me your X in game or in the chat and I will add you to my team and we're gonna do some Japoris. It's always fun to do it together. So we're gonna level up this uh, new Sona Intel Battle Cruiser and um, we're gonna um, yeah, get that uh, thing going on. I don't know, can it handle cannons? It looks like it can handle cannons, so that's 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 fun. That's really amazing. So perhaps I should put a cannon build on it. Yes, I've got a. F I know what kind of build I'm gonna put on this. I'm gonna put a cannon build on it. I think I'm gonna like this ship even. I didn't see any X's guys. Okay, I'm gonna spend some time on the chat. Guys, if you want to communicate with me directly, you uh, the TeamSpeak address is in the video uh, subscriptions. I'm always in for tips, whatever. Uh, but sometimes I'm in game and I'm uh, watching uh, you guys type on my uh, mobile phone. So sometimes it's hard to uh, see what you guys are saying to me. Um, yeah, I see you guys talking. It's too slow turning for cannons. Okay, B Royce, that's a good tip. So I keep that in mind. I'm gonna do everything that I can to give it more turn rate. For example, the RCS console uh, and the uh, this one to give it more turn rate. I'm gonna put on as well the um, Tecchio Kinetic Converter. I can put two of these on it, or perhaps the uh, Engineering Polaric uh, Modulation. I can give it turn rates, don't worry about it. I can give it turn rate. Um, I'm gonna continue set it up. Hello, uh, Leslie Clark. I'm doing great, guys. Um, type bigger. <laughs> okay, it should work. Good. Some people have faith in this build. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm glad. Uh, yeah. 
Let me see. I want to have the Delpix set on it. It always takes uh, some time to set it up. Cool. Guys, like I said, if you want to uh, join me uh, leveling up this ship in a couple of minutes, feel free. I will uh, definitely add you in the game. We're going to do some Japori runs and uh, uh, other runs to level up this ship as fast as possible. Where's the Delpic console, guys? There it is. I've got already some kind of build in my mind. Some damage resistance. This is gonna look a little bit more than a PvP setup, but it's not gonna be a PvP uh, setup. Oh, look, somebody's riding me. <laughs> Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Which I gonna put in there? I'm gonna go all the way for penetration. Perhaps I should go for more turn rate even, so I can put this one in. But turn rate, turn rate, turn rate, th four consoles that give me more turn rates since I'm gonna go for um, uh, 90 degrees arc weapons. Um, Oh yeah, and the, the, the torpedo launcher. So it's all anti-proton based. And uh, this one for more survivability. Perhaps the Iconian set. Yeah, why not? It's not a PvP set anyway. The Iconian set. And of course the, the new shield that gives me more crit chance and crit severity. The prevailing inverted shield array that gives me more crit chance and crit severity. Okay, the devices. What am I going to put on? I'm going to put on some batteries. Okay, I think I've set it up. I just need to take a quick look at the stations. Uh, can I put an Aux to Bad build on it? Yes, I can. That's that's nice. Uh, since I'm attacked, I'm going to do it. I don't need any auxiliary power. Um, let me see what, what do we've got here. Oh, I think I'm going to like this ship. I like the uh, bridge officer stations. So uh, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I've got a <laughs> this guy is really funny, Darren. Look at him running, running around me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, so um, if you've got suggestions, put them in the chat right now. This is the build that I've got on the new uh, Sona Intel Battle Cruiser. 
Uh, why I gonna set this ship up? Because I want to uh, unlock this uh, amazing trait. Uh, whenever I get uh, um, high healed, uh, which can trigger by I'm not using high healed on my Odyssey, but it can trigger by the amazing uh, uh, station. Uh, what was it called? There it is. Concentrate firepower. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you, man. I like the ship as well. Thank you. I'll put the chat here uh, so you guys can actually uh, chat to me as well. Uh, in the meanwhile, I'm gonna grab a new uh, cup of coffee. I gonna um, yeah. You guys can flood me with suggestions. You can help me with grinding of uh, uh, unlocking the trades. So give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. I just need some more coffee. Okay, I'm back. Uh, okay, guys. Yes, I was setting up this ship. It seems that it's not an engineering, is it? Why? What, what's? What did I have there? I think Summer and Three or Four were um, on the other. Hmm. Let me see. Yes, it's a quick cup of coffee, guys. I've got a uh, Senseo. It's called Senseo. It's a uh, um, it's a nice machine from uh, from Holland, from Freelips. It can make coffee really quickly. I love it. Something like a Nescafe or uh, what was it? Nespresso. What else? Yeah. Nespresso. What else? Hmm. Oh, I think I made a mistake. It's it's an, it's an Intel. Well, whatever. Um, yeah, I gonna. I think I'm gonna do it like this. Uh, yeah, what else, right? Um, Sinem and Ty, that are my main officers. There was a time I paid like two hundred fucking millions for an. Um, and uh, a Gemma Dar bridge officer with uh, torpedo spread three, but uh, these days you can just train everybody, so you don't need all your. Um... Oh, you've got it. Yeah, you want me to buy it, right? <laughs> uh, so, but now you can train all your officers. I really like that. Uh, so you can just troll your bridge officer. Still need to do that. I've got two bridge officers that I bought from the, um, um, what was it, the embassy, which gives you more crit chance. I will show you guys. For example, uh, Sinem and Tai, those are, uh, you can buy them and they uh, have this thingy going on. Um, you can see here. Uh, where is it? Why could you see that? Uh, I believe in trades, yeah. So this gives you, this Romulan gives you plus two critical chance and plus five percent critical severity. Uh, 
and Darren says, "Yes, you're right." But in that time, in that time when I bought that um, the bridge officer, it was I couldn't find it cheaper. And if you wanted to have torpedo spread three, what was really amazing rare in that time, you needed to spend that, otherwise you couldn't get it. There was no way that you could get it. So um, yeah, I had no choice to spend that much. Okay, uh, let me set this up. Always go for torpedo spread three. Then I go. I'm gonna go for camo side. I'm gonna go for tactical team. And here I'm gonna go for tie. Always tie. Where is tie? Of um, yeah, tie. So with two of those uh, officers uh, that are both Romulan, I get in total four percent more crit chance and ten percent more critical severity. So always make sure that you have at least one of those uh, tactical officers and train them whenever you want to train them it adds to your dps so um i think this uh, is uh, quite similar than the dutchman uh, the bridge officer setup so that's that's what i like um, i think i can do it like this as well um beam Oh shit, I've got I've got cannons. I'm so stupid. I need this one. A beam overload two torpedo spread two and here I gonna put in camo side. I cannot do that. Hmm, I thought they had camo yeah, there it is. Yes, so I'm gonna do it like this. One beam overload, two torpedo spread, two cannons rapid fire because I'm running cannons, torpedo spread, and some science abilities, um, some heals. The Borg science officers, since they have some skills as well. I mean, traits, what was it? The Borg science officer. Um, is there any spills or skills? No, there isn't. Well, fuck it. Um, no, this is not this officer. I think I'm gonna go for. I've got too many of them. I need to ditch them. Fire them. You're fired because they don't add anything towards uh, my build at the moment. Um,. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna do a uh, cleanup. Devro for science, that's the best base trait. Devro. Do I have Devro? Yeah. Oh, yeah, is it? Let me see why. Why? Why? Let me see. I never. Devro, where are you? Thank you for the tip. Ah, thank you for the tip, man. Wow, that's a good tip. I like it. I like it. Thank you. Always good. You, you viewers makes me even more powerful. Uh, and somebody is uh, ignoring uh, Darren. What the fuck? Why? I gonna say something about it. I says to Sword of Omen, don't, don't ignore Darren, don't ignore Darren. He has no fucking clue what I'm talking about. So I said something about it, mate. Perhaps he's gonna unignore you now. Okay, let me see. Um, yeah, I'm almost there, guys. I'm just gonna fly this thing to uh, space. I need to set up all the trays. That's really fucked up work. Uh, but uh, I need to. Uh, pff. Normally, I've got only women on my. Uh, Oh, you know what he says, Darren? He says, 
I'm not ignoring him. I sent him a tell. Yeah, but <laughs> if you don't accept that. What the fuck? But he cannot type to you. He cannot type to you. He cannot answer you. You need to uh, add him as a friend or stop ignoring. That's the best thing to do, I think. Hey, I see a victim here. Please join our fleet. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Uh, I need to give him something more because he can only run uh, promote. Yes, promote skills. What shall I learn him? I need to learn him Forize Hill too. Do I have got it in my bank? I need to clean up my bank first. So guys, if you're watching and you want to join me uh, leveling up ships, then uh, invite me a message in the game. Cool. He friended you. That's amazing. Um, then uh, please do so. Help us. Help me. You can send me in-game a message or join my TeamSpeak. Cool. Cool guy, thank you. Leslie, amazing. Thank you for uh, joining, leveling up the ship. I'm gonna buy... Um, Polarize Hull. Two, I need two, whereas two there is. Okay, there you are. Train. Learn. And what do he need more? Hazard emitters. He doesn't have fucking hazard emitters. <laughs> I need hazard emitters one. Okay. Learn. Okay, learn. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the ship status. Put those uh, things on. So I sh set up this ship in like. What was it? 15 minutes. I think I've got a quite decent build on it. Let me check the turn rate. Okay, gonna beam up. Set the trace up. And this is actually the first time I take a good look at the ship, guys. It looks like a boomerang. Well, the turn rate is fine, but I needed to... <laughs> Put a lot of consoles on it. I can work with this turn rate. Unless you're fighting an escort to keep you in front, it's gonna be a really pain in the ass. That's for sure. But uh, for a PVE, this is gonna be perfect. It's gonna be how many? Uh... Let me see. Okay, I need to uh, check my trades now. Uh, to give it more turn rate, I'm gonna give him momentum. I'm gonna remove this one. Um... Let me see. Momentum. Beam barrage is gonna go away. I want to have more um, cannon power, of course. Where are the cannon straights? Where is it?
Yep. Uh, I'm gonna remove this one for go for the kill. I think this will uh, work. Yes, this will work. I think. Okay, now I'm gonna set up fast the uh, the the this thingies. Let me see. This is the new console, guys. Uh, oh, it got uh, command abilities. That's that's what I like. I wish the ship could cloak. To be honest, uh, that would be amazing. But it uh, it cannot. So uh, stop dreaming. Okay guys, uh, as well, thank you for watching. If you just tuned in, let me see uh, how many people are watching at the moment. 12 people. Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I uh, really like that you guys are watching. Thank you for this. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm setting up the new Sonos ship. I got it now for two weeks, I believe two weeks, uh, but I want to un uh, un get, uh, of, uh, unlock this, uh, this space trade that it comes with. So I can put it on the famous Flying Dutchman. Um, so I'm going to level up this ship. If you're watching and you want to uh, join leveling up uh, your ship, if you've got a ship that you want to level up, perhaps you've got the ship as well and you have some tips, feel free to contact me. The TeamSpeak address uh, is in the video uh, uh, description as well as my handle. So feel free to contact me uh, and uh, please uh, subscribe. If you're not already are, and uh, please hit that like button. Unless you don't like it, then unsubscribe and give me that dislike. Feel free to do whatever, but uh, please um, let me know what you think of it, of course. Um, all I need to, after leveling up a few uh, levels, I... Oh, hello, user. Hello. Of course, when I have level the ship up, I uh, gonna take it to the arena. Uh, let's see who we've got here. Hey! It's Marcel from the guy with Typhly. What's up, man? Long time no see. Let me give you your PvP. Hey, mate. I'm going to give you your PvP status because I know you're a PvP uh, player. So, there you go. So, long... Yes. Yes, you were, mate. You, the guy with Typhly was one of the best PvP players, man. Nobody forgot the guy with Typhly. How is Beatrix and uh, Captain Proton? Are they still playing? Oh, yeah, oh, that's too bad. And uh, how come? Why did they lose their interest in this uh, game? Yeah, I think uh, a lot of people went to uh, Star Citizen huh? as well. Do they play that? Oh, okay. Well, uh, I think you're uh, watching the stream as well, of course. Okay, and did you like it so far? Yes, there's coming more, mate. And if you want, you can be a part of it. If you want to level up a ship or something, I'm just gonna do some uh, Japari uh, runs with Leslie, and we can uh, use more people to do this. So if you want, uh, you can uh, give me your X in game, mate, and then uh, let's do this. I'm almost done with setting it up. As well, Leslie. If you're watching the stream and you want to communicate and you've got TeamSpeak, feel free to join this channel and uh, we can uh, run uh, this together. So, a part of it as well. It's always fun, huh? More people, more joy. So, nobody is playing Star Trek anymore from the guy with Dive Fleet. That's really, uh, really not good to hear, mate. I played a lot with them in the past.
and uh, Leslie says he's using Discord. But uh, I've noticed when I'm using Discord uh, while I'm streaming, my uh, my bandwidth gets uh, really uh, uh, yeah slower. So that's why I'm not using it. Japori, yeah, cool, cool. Remy, so want to join as well? Oh, that's you, right? Yeah, that's you. <laughs> cool. Um, I'm almost done setting this up, guys, so we can run actually something. Hmm, I see all some stuff that I... What is this? Is this new? Exposed vulnerability? Is this from a console or something? I see two new things I've never seen before. Three things even. Exposed vulnerability weapon systems? Hmm. This is new. I've never seen this before. So, that's fun. Okay, what it does. Exposed vulnerability weapon systems. Remove all tactical bridge officer buffs, reduce damage by 33%, reduce accuracy. So that's fun, I never seen this. Remove all science bridge officer buffs, hold target for 5 seconds, and expose vulnerability defense. Minus 33% damage resistance. That's nice, I've never, I, I, I could not even know that ship does this. It's all Intel ship gets, says Darren. Cool. That's cool. I, I never know. I never know that. Did you know? Sometimes I su I'm such a noob. Got our intel, something new. I didn't know that. Okay, I'm just gonna save it already a little bit. Anti-proton cannon penetration. I'm gonna call the um, call this uh, build. Uh, let me see at the stats. I've got now 12 percent, 12.9 percent critical chance. Okay, I think I'm gonna remove this one for vulnerability locator, so I've got more uh, crit chance. So I've got now 18.5, but two less crit severity. So I'm just gonna put one more anti-proton in it. I think I'm gonna remove this one and give it more crit chance. Yes, I'm gonna go for the best console in game. And that's the bioneural infusion circuit buff. So I've got now one more perhaps. Something like this, yeah, that's nice. It's got almost 20% critical chance. What's happening? Oh, there it is. You guys can still hear me? I have uh, some kind of sp spike in my computer going on.
And Darren says, this is what's happening if you play only three, sh of, uh, three ships. Yes, there's a lot of things I don't know about uh, this game. That's definitely uh, true. Uh, cool. Cool, guys. Thank you. Okay, I think, uh, wh what do you guys think of my setup uh, by now? Do you have got any tips or su uh, suggestions or you think it's good like this? Let me know. I think it's, I think it's quite decent like this. I've got a lot of defense, uh, a lot of shooting. Good, uh, well, the accuracy could be a little bit higher, but I'm going to do PV with it. Yeah, I think it's quite decent like this. Oh, of course. Don't don't you forget the duty officers. Um, shoe penetration, torpedoes. I can't go all the way for shoe penetration. That's why I'm using the beam overload. Yes, good. Good one. Set your uh, energy levels as well. That's definitely true. I'm gonna go always uh, for um, speed and for um, the uh, weapon power. Since I'm not using any um, auxiliary with uh, using aux to bed, so and my shooting, I'm using as well these um, Herald anti proton turrets, which uh, stew energy uh, damage from the uh, enemy and gives me some so that's uh, I think it's like this is a good tip I'm gonna take one more look at my trade and then I'm ready Thank you, uh, Kamaya. The, uh, welcome and thank you for watching. If you just popped in, then um, please hit that like button and subscribe button. And if you have a ship that you want to um, uh, level up, um, please do so. Help us. Help me. We need more players. I hope you're gonna enjoy this team of uh, this uh, stream. What we're doing now is um, I'm setting up this new ship. Uh, the Sona Intel Battle Cruiser. That's not the Dutchman. That's true. But uh, we're uh, gonna do. Uh, I want to unlock this trait, this uh, subspatial warhead. So let's do this. And uh, they're begging for uh, more cues in the arena. <laughs> That's always the case in this game. Yeah, I think I'm ready like this, guys. Are you guys ready? Tell me, are you guys ready? Put the beams out. Yeah, you're ready? Good. He says, put uh, one more cannon. Um, I'm not going to do that. Uh, because I'm using duty officers that give me penetration. I get one free beam overload. And 
as well. The Delpic set gives me more critical chance and uh, critical severity. Uh, that's why I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. I'm not listening to that. Uh, but it's a good tip. But I'm not going to do that. Okay, let's do it. Let's go to uh, Japori or show what. Let's go first to the um, the Delta Quadrant. There is this. Um, what was it again? Argala system. Yes, let's do first the Argala system. But uh, thank you for your tip, uh, Kamayati. Um, I'm just uh, using the beam because uh, it gives me uh, shield penetration. I'm going to show you how I do that. Uh, I'm using this duty officers whenever I have a beam overload. When you attack a target with beam overload, you have a chance to cause all other damage against that target to ignore 35% of target shields for 4 seconds. So, and... Every 10 shots with this particular beam gives me a free beam overload. And with this console, with it, it gives me penetrate more penetration and more critical chance and critical severity. So that's why I'm using only this beam and a beam overload too in this case. Let's go to the Argala system, guys. You're flying with a uh, bird of prey, that's nice. Well, I needed to load some uh, patch uh, thingy. It's so weird. Every time when I play this game and I'm in another ship and I don't recognize the ship, I'm like, what's happening when it's warping in? So used to the... Uh... Okay, let's see how hard it can hit. I've got no parser. That's pretty decent. I don't see the uh, the new abilities where which I'm not familiar with uh, popping. Would guys targets to be vulnerable? Hmm. Okay. As you can see, uh, I'm gonna leave this uh, thingy open so you guys can see how uh, fast it actually levels in this uh, particular system. Oh, wow. How come? Okay, Leslie, uh, we can do another one because after this one we're gonna just warp in again. But a uh, good call, mate. Oh, there, no, there he is. He just warped in. So 30k, uh, 38k hit, crit hit. You don't have got a federation tune uh, that you can uh, add. You have got only KDF tunes. So 
successfully harvest um, material in space. I don't understand that one. It's uh, the current uh, endeavor uh, challenge we need to do. I thought it was just accepting uh, loot, but it isn't. So I'm not familiar with this uh, this uh, endeavor uh, challenge. Are you? Ah. I see. I understand now. Thank you for your tip. We need to. Uh, oh yeah, we need to definitely take. Uh, Good luck when we need to warp out. We no, we don't need to finish it, right? We need to warp out now, if I was correctly. Yeah. Okay. Let's don't. Yeah. Don't uh, accept the reward. Just warp out, and we can do it again. So how many levels did we actually, uh, almost uh, two levels in uh, one Argala system. Hopefully Leslie didn't accept the, uh, the, the thingy. So. Yes, okay. Oh, we can go in. It's fine. I just could jump in. I'm gonna help you. Okay, uh, I'm in, so you, you guys can just jump in. That's fine. I'll wait for you guys. I'm afraid Leslie cannot join us anymore because perhaps, perhaps they um, he accepted his reward. If he did, he cannot join again. Oh, well, Leslie uh, screwed up. He uh, accepted his. Uh, Uh, we've got uh, two and a half more minutes and then we need to go to uh, Japori anyway. Oh, then you can jump in. Uh, if you didn't uh, claim the hour art, you can uh, jump in and help us, right? Yeah, should be. So basically what you are seeing doing us, we're cheating a little bit in this game because we we doing this uh, mission because it levels up your ship fast and um, by not claiming the reward or warping out before you had the five uh, thingies going on, the five uh, case and, and or the mission, um, what is it called? the mission yeah reward then uh, you can actually jump in again and again and then you're leveling up your 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 ship faster uh, than by doing for example missions or whatever so that's why we are doing this and when we did this we're gonna jump to another system it's called the Jabori system 
and we're gonna do exact the same thing. I just before we finish it, we're gonna leave. We're gonna jump over in so, because you can only do this once in an hour, or yeah, once in an hour, I believe. And I'm already tier two. And somebody tell me to shut up. They don't want me to uh, get this fixed. <laughs> That's understandable. So if you did pay some attention and enjoy it, if not, I'm gonna shut up about this. Again. Hello Own Ender, I, uh, I hope you paid some attention, we give some nice tips today about leveling up your ships. Wow, nice. We did it. Okay, now we're gonna haste. Uh, oh, perhaps I can grab again that thingy. So, for the uh, daily uh, current endeavor uh, thingy. I always use my uh, keyboard. To do this with your mouse buttons so if you do that it's uh, easier than using the, the the arrow thingies with your mouse okay let's warp out and let's go to the Japori uh, system I think um, um, this is uh, where Leslie was waiting for all the time so let's hurry um, to which is the fastest nearby station? I think it's the uh, Sherman system or the Soul system or the hmm, Romulan. It's nearby Romulan, uh, New Romulus. Yeah. So I think Soul system. Yeah. In the meanwhile, while I'm transiting uh, towards uh, the Japori system, I'm gonna grab myself another nice cup of coffee. I did not even pay attention to the ship's name. What 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 uh, did uh, Star Trek call it? Basilian. Ah, I see. Well, it's not a bad name. It's uh, I I think Boomerang is more fitted. To be honest, look, it, it looks like a little bit like uh, an. Um, you can see it now, like an uh, reversed. What was it again? The. Uh, yeah. But it, it, it looks a little bit like the uh, Dreadnought Warbird. The uh, yeah. if you if you look at like this, if you compare those two ships, I don't know if you're watching the stream, but but it looks like it's reversed version. And somebody says, Leslie said, do the start of the echoes of the light for Endeavor system. Um, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know what he means with that. Do you? Okay. Where is the Chipotle system? Wow. 
Wait, it should be here somewhere. Oh yeah, I just gonna follow you. That's perhaps uh, I guess yeah, I gonna follow you. That's good. <laughs> That's better. Okay, guys, I gonna grab a coffee. Coffee. I'll be right back. Uh, yes, I'm back. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen who are watching, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Uh, what we are doing today is leveling up this new uh, Sona Intel Battle Cruiser to unlock the uh, trait that comes with it, the subspatial warheads. It gives you some kind of anomaly when you're hitting somebody with an, um, an high heat. Which can be really amazing if you've got, for example, a nice, uh, uh, how do you call it? If you've got a nice um, spam boat or an, uh, um, a control boat on your science character. Uh, so you can influence their gameplay by using a high heel torpedo. If you're using, for example, uh, um, there are amazing um, traits as well. So you can actually, if you've got an, um, what is it called? A torpedo boat. Uh, there are cool uh, builds that give you more crit chance or uh, more, I mean, cool traits that can, can give you crit chance. Or, uh, for example, the viral torpedo disables uh, when you're hitting somebody with a uh, torpedo. So, and this is another trait that can be really amazing on a science build or uh, on an, um, yeah, on an um, torpedo build. Yeah, a nice, a nice trait that comes with it. I like the ship so far. Okay, guys, I'm ready. If you guys are ready, uh, give me your R on the uh, team. Ready? Cool. Okay, guys, let's do this. And um, let's warp out at the same time. So we can do this a uh, little bit more uh, than uh, two times. Okay? Yes? Let's do this. Uh, you can... Uh, on Ender, you, yes, definitely. If you want, uh, you can uh, definitely join us. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, cool. You can just uh, join us. I was looking for people uh, to join us. Um, you can join our TeamSpeak. You can contact me in game. Uh, you can uh, help us uh, level up this ship. Or right, if you've got your own ship to level up, feel free to do it.
Okay, we need to uh, stop doing this uh, at the four uh, when we are starting on the fourth wave, if I if I'm correctly right. Okay, so we're now, yeah, we're now we did the fourth wave, so now it's time to warp out. I'm warping out. And uh, Lila is asking if I want to buy him what? Buy him the Cindy Dreadnought Tier 6. I'm a, You're such a good player, right? You're a god in this game, so why don't you buy it yourself, mate? Okay, let's. Um, oh, I couldn't warp out. We're still attacking, guys. We should uh, get out of here. Okay, he's um, on and wants to uh, help us um, for fun. So um, we're out now. So just um, give us your X, mate. Uh, contact me in game so you can actually uh, join uh, this uh, this thingy. My uh, handle is in the in the video uh, description. So just send me a private message, and uh, I'll get you in. Oh, I misunderstand uh, Lila Irovella. He wants to sell a ship, guys. Uh, he's uh, 20k cheaper than XGA. So. Uh, he's selling an, uh, tier six, a tier 6. Um, I thought he, I wanted to buy him one, but uh, that's not the case. He uh, wants to sell something. Okay, I'm gonna send you an uh, invite, team invite. One second. Okay, if you hurry yourself to Jabori uh, Sector 7, and then uh, we can jump in. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I give uh, an, uh, a moment of fame to uh, Lila. Lila Irovella, the PvP god in this game. He wants to sell something. Um, he's uh, selling his tier 6 Xindi. What was it? Want to buy Xindi Aquatic Dread tier 6? I sell for 20k less than the exchange. Okay. So if you want to buy that ship and you want to pay 20k less, then um, you can uh, buy it uh, from him. Uh. Okay, and uh, he's coming. We've got some kind of delay here in the stream, I think. You guys are watching. And, um, and uh, if, uh, if you decide to want to buy it, you can... Uh, you can um, pay him, him. and uh, his handle is at Iron Vela. <coughs> Bless me, thank you.
Thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, are we ready? Shall we do it? Just jump in. And remember, guys, if we're gonna do this, jump out when we finish the fourth wave. But you guys know that. Let's do this. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just jumped in. I just jumped in. Oh, I thought you were close, mate. I'll just wait for you here. And Leslie is waiting as well, so you can just jump in. And, uh, and Poriota says there's a 30 seconds delay. Oh, that's fine. I think it's amazing uh, that uh, we've got here an Agaya Butai uh, player in. Uh, that's, uh, that's cool, man. That's, uh, yeah. We miss uh, definitely that fleet in this game. And those pre-mates were amazing. So that was wave two already. I think the turn rate of this ship is really not that bad to be honest. It's it's not as good as it is. Okay, let's warp out guys. Let's warp out. So if you guys are watching this and uh, b is watching this, this is not really happening. This is, this is no, no uh, exploit, this is just normal gameplay. We don't like to finish this... Uh, uh, level 3, so two more levels, it's getting uh, slower. Uh, uh, it's getting slower. Leslie is still in. It's prob Probably uh, stuck in red alert, so he cannot warp. At least I hope that's the case. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for popping in. I see a lot of more uh, new viewers. Thank you for watching. Uh, at the moment, I am doing uh, leveling up the Sona Intel Battle Cruiser Tier 6. I just made a uh, setup for it, an uh, anti proton setup with uh, penetration cannons on it. Um, I see I made a uh, little mistake. Because I don't have got the um, the cannon on it that gives me a firing haste, and it's this one, the advanced radiation I need on this one because it gives me more rapid fire on it. So which one I gonna sacrifice? It's gonna be this one. Yeah. Okay, and perhaps I can switch a trade as well. Since I don't really need this one, I'm gonna go for rapid fire. Yep. 
this energy weapon cycle. So I can f fire more shots than um, I'm doing already. Um, so I think this is how it's gonna be. Like this, yes. Now it will be more efficient build. I'm gonna save it. Okay, I got, uh, we are ready, guys. Shall we do it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Hang on. And why I changed my uh, suddenly my cannons? It's because this cannon uh, comes from the Iconian reputation system. It gives me more cycling haze, weapon firing cycling haze. Whenever I'm firing. There's a three uh, percent uh, chance. No way. Uh, I get three percent firing psycho haze for six seconds when this weapon is firing, and it can stack for ten times. So that's exactly thirty percent more firing psycho haze, and that means for every weapon that I have slotted. So whenever you're doing a cannon build, make sure you have this particular cannon on it. And if you combine that with, for example, emergency power to weapons, and you've got the trait um, emergency weapon cycle, then you've got another 20% cycling haste for energy weapons for 30 seconds. So that basically gives you 50% more uh, uh, weapon uh, firing haste, and that's really what you need on cannons. So um, I forgot to put that cannon on. I thought I slotted it, but... Uh, now it's all set. Uh, keep in mind when you're doing this, using this trait, and you have slotted as well the emergency power to shoot, they counter each other's cooldown. So if you, for example, use the emergency power to weapons, that gets a 15 uh, seconds cooldown on your emergency power to shoot as well. Okay, are we ready, guys? Okay, let's do this. So my, my firing cycle haste must be 50% uh, faster than it was earlier. Let's see if we can uh, start noticing that. If you pay now attention to my uh, emergency weapon uh, traits on the bottom, for example emergency power to weapons, if I activate that, it influences my emergency power to shoots as well. But you can use them both, as you can see. I see really some nice crit hits, like uh, 36, 63 crits. Nice. Okay, we need to warp out again, guys. <laughs> it goes too fast with so many players. How is it the leveling going on? Am I almost there? No, it's getting much slower now, but uh, nothing to do about it.
So we're waiting. Are you uh are you okay uh Polyderas who seems harmed? Okay, let's do this. Are you guys ready? Ready for the second round, third round? I gonna see some. I saw something hidden. Special ship tray. I kind of put it here. Wow! I press X escape, but I cannot get out of this rearranged hut thing. What? What's going on? Oh, there we go. Okay, and uh, ladies and gentlemen who just jump in, thank you for watching. I'm uh, leveling up the new uh, ship. The uh, Sona Battle Cruiser. I made a build on it. If you want to see the build, you can jump back in time, which is possible in this live stream. And uh, we're leveling it up. Oh no! Oh no! What happened here? We just finished it. How is this possible? Okay, don't ex don't accept the uh, don't accept the reward. And uh, let's try to get in. I this is like I never seen this before. Did you? I never seen. It. No. No. Seems we can do it uh, just one more time uh, and then it's over. So uh, if you uh, start watching, thank you uh, guys. Uh, this is uh, Unit 1, Captain of the Flying Dutchman, and today I'm leveling up this new Sona Battle Cruiser that I obtained by opening two lockboxes. Um, Hello, Aya. Hello, mate. Um, thank you for watching. If you're not already a uh, member of uh, my subscribers, please do so. Unless you don't like stre uh, the stream, just dislike it and leave. If you like it, you can like. And um, We're still looking for one buddy to uh, join us uh, leveling up the ship. I want to unlock this trade. So please contact me in-game. My uh, handle is in the video description as well as my TeamSpeak address where you can join. And um, yes, I uh, already told many times uh, this is the build that I'm running at the moment. Um, I'm using an anti proton build. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty nice uh, build. And Leslie, what is Leslie doing? He just jumped out. I think. Something weird. If you want to help, uh, I'll send you a team invite, if that's possible, or are you KDF? Well, we need to jump in uh, three minutes, within three minutes, otherwise we cannot do it anymore. So we just jump in now then? Okay, let's do it. Let's jump in. If something is uh, going on, perhaps there's some time differ differential, I don't know, perhaps in, um, how do you call it, even in um, dimension difference, I don't know, it's always weird with space travel. Somebody wanted to join, but I cannot invite you in the team, that's weird. Oh, there I am, I sent you a team invite, uh, Arya. Cool. We are doing this uh, this thingy, uh, but this is the last time we can run it actually, so we need to find another system. And um, Rami, do you do you have got another uh, suggestion after doing this uh, Jipori where we can level up the ship? Cool, Starbase twenty four it is. We're almost. We can just do it, why not? 
Oh, and Aya says he's got a, he knows a bunch of them. So just let us know, man, and uh, we we're gonna do it. Oh, he says there are three more nearby. Oh, that's cool. Well, let's do it then, because this is the last time we can actually do this uh, Japori thingy. But now we can finish it to the end anyway. Yeah, I think uh, as I'm in a fight now, the turn rate is really uh, not that good of this ship indeed. So it's uh, really amazing that they allowed even cannons on the ship. I did many things to increase the turn rate of the ship. I put a trade on, for example, the momentum trade. Uh, I put a consoles on it, RCS consoles. Um, but still, it's a little bit uh, slow. Perhaps if I go to command strategic, strategic maneuvering, increases as well a little bit. Okay, nice. Um, yeah, almost at level 4. Um, so that's good, I think. Okay guys, one second please. I, uh, I need to have uh, one break. Uh, one second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I'm sorry for the small uh, interruption. I'm gonna fly towards Arya, where we can continue the, uh, the leveling up. I just got it. The, uh... Yes, yes, I see where he is, and I'm gonna haste myself towards the place. I need to uh, do as well soon the uh, new admiralty system. I totally forgot about that. Shall we enter guys? Are we ready? Are we all close? No, we're still waiting for somebody. For uh, Valdi Terras. So I suggest as well, after finishing this one, we leave early so we can jump in again. Uh, Aya says uh, he's got a good uh, PV ground PvP build. I don't have it. I'm sorry. What's going on? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's do this, guys. We're complete. Oh no, almost. Don't you have gotten a. Uh... <laughs> So 
sector space, um, quantum slipstream drive. Okay, let's uh, jump in. Let's do this. I see a lot of nice crit hits guys, I see a lot of hits. I still didn't uh, take a good look at the console that this uh, ship comes with. I need to do uh, that as well. Just hasting uh, leveling it up one more level. The subspace barrier interrogator. Gives me more shoot power, starts to drain expertise and uh, plus 10% shoot hit points. Great moving anomalies. Okay, let's try it. But we need to warp out as well, so... I thought I slotted that console in, uh, in my... Uh, in my tray. There it is. Okay. I'm uh, letting the guys know that it should leave before ending the uh, mission. It's going so slow the last time, huh? Okay, I, I don't think uh, Arya doesn't understand why we're doing this. Um, so I'm gonna just say it one more time. I'm sorry, B. Royce. But we jump in. We're gonna not finish the. Uh it's, it's okay, don't worry about it. Um, 
so we 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 gonna leave in of uh, we gonna finish till wave four then we jump out and jump in again so we can do this over and over again and uh, get the skill points without finishing the mission so we get more skill points because you can get more skill points by doing this five times and doing it one more time <laughs> that's why we're doing this uh, are you guys ready are they still in i think yeah they are still in right yes oh okay let, let's do it then let's jump in again Hello, user. I still need to... Yes, hello? It's okay, don't worry. Oh no, no, it's uh, 1 slash 5, right? Yeah. True, but then you've got a box and a cooldown of 5 minutes. Uh, so, um, if you do this, you'll still not be able to do this over and over again, right? Because then you can do it two more times and then the five minutes cooldown is over and you need to go to another system. That's why we left at wave four. Because when you automatically accept the box after five minutes, um, you are not able to jump in anymore. But we can finish this one and go to the another one and I think our uh and B-Roy is uh, saying some something. Okay, we finished this one, and um, let's jump out and jump in again. Fast. Mr. Yu, hello. Hello, thank you for watching, man. I hope you like the stream. If you don't like, give me that dislike. And if you like, give me that like. And please hit the subscribe button. And um, to tell you fast what we're doing, we're leveling up this new ship. Uh, it's the Zona Intel Battle Cruiser. It's a nice ship, slow turn rate. So I put a lot of consoles in it to give it more turn rate. It's a slow turner. I put some trades on it as well, the momentum and the uh, pilot uh, of the helmsman trade, so it gets more turn rate. Okay, guys, are we ready? We're still waiting for Aya, or he jumped in again. He's so fast. Okay, let's do it. Let's enter. I've oh, I'm on 30 minutes cooldown. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> yes, I did accept the. <laughs> I did accept. Okay, that's that's not smart. Um, gamma, gamma Eridon, right? Okay, let I I got. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, Leslie, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you uh, uh, for helping uh, us with uh, doing this, uh, this leveling up. This uh, it's not really fun to do to be honest. I don't uh, like to do it But if you want to have that trade, there's not no other way. I don't know how long it uh, Tell me how is that? Sure, let's try that. Yes, okay, let's do this and this is too 
Okay, I will do that. Uh, Starbase. Yes, okay. But then we need uh, two more players, right? I'm sorry? Okay. Um. How is the PvP these days? Uh, it's doing good, to be honest. No, uh, not much uh, crappy uh, shit going on anymore. It's a uh, nice PvP at the moment. I like it. Uh, sometimes uh, a lot of drainings, but uh, if you've got a good team, it's still fun to do. Yeah, I like PvP uh, last days, last uh, weeks. Okay, we need uh, two more players, guys. If you're watching and you want to join uh, to do a uh, Starbase 24, I'm gonna add some channel. Okay, I'll do that. Yes, I can. Uh, I can invite him, right, Emperor Yoda. Uh, he's. Uh, I can. Wait, in private he can. So. He's got. I think he should be able to. Yes, he's got an invite. Okay, one more. We need one more. Yes, Darren and uh, B-Royce are still around. In chat, yes. They are... They are uh, oh, they are in-game, but I'm not sure if they are able in the chat of this, uh, of this stream. I think they are. Okay, we need one more player, one more player. You found somebody? Let me spam some chat channels. Get more people in. Yes, got some. Hello, user. Welcome. I hope you're good. Uh, let me give you some uh, tags in this um, team speak so you can just jump in anytime you want.
Welcome, Joss. So, that's all set. I think we're ready. Shall we do this? Where is this um, Starbase 24? Oh, we're full. How many people we can get in here? Do you know that? No, this uh, that's not possible. I need to. Uh, I just invited him, but uh, we're full, so I'm sorry. But uh, oh, oh, tell me I didn't do that. Tell me I didn't do this. I just kicked it. <laughs> Oh, it's Sherlock. Hey, Sherlock. <laughs> How are you doing, man? Oh. It was you? Mr. You is you? Oh. Oh, it's Cheppers. Welcome back, Cheppers, man. How is it going? Are you, you are in live stream. I'm not sure if you know that, but... Uh, you're, okay. Um... Okay, let's uh, let's get you back in. Okay, guys, let's. Um, first, I gonna take you guys in because uh, you already uh, were in here. Oh, who left? Who who was that? Why? I cannot... What the fuck is going on, guys? I need to do it all another way because it seems always this... Let me try again. Invite... And now everybody is... Private... <laughs> okay, let's first group invite... Okay, guys, you need to... You guys need to leave the uh, group invite that you already were in, or invite me, because I am out, as you can see. If you're going to go to the queue system, and you go to the uh, cr create private one, you see where you guys are in. You need to invite me, or leave, because... Well, uh, Mr. Yu, thank you. Uh, it is... Um there's a uh, PvP player in uh, the chat, and it's Sherlock Holmes, and uh, he's saying hello to everybody. That's cool, man. It's definitely time for you to come back uh, in this game sometimes. PvP is still doing good. I'm still flying, uh, uh, of course, the Odyssey, but not uh, alone. Uh, I'm uh, using as well the Jemadar Strike ship. Um, and did you guys already invite me? Cool, mate. Okay. We're gonna run in a, a space uh, twenty four. Yeah. Yes. And Marcel, can you, can you give me again your X uh, in the in the game? So uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're waiting for sp Spectre. 
okay it's the, the problem is um, we're getting full now so everybody's sending me uh, X's but and uh, somebody says Spectre welcome back you see that that's cool Okay, we've got a full team now. Oh, yeah, I can get them in. What? Yes, I think we're full now. Okay, mate. There we go. It's okay. Don't worry. Thank you for that. Where is Starbase 24? Sometimes it takes such a long time to set things up. To be honest, I don't see it standing somewhere. Starbase 24, where is it? I, I am. I am. Am I just blind? I don't see it. I just don't see it. Oh, we need 10 players. Do we need to have 10 players for this? Oh, well, then give me your X's. Then we need more players. More X's, guys. Okay, let's invite everybody that was giving X's. Somebody said I expect an apologize from you. I'm sorry. I don't I don't know what I did wrong. But why is that? I don't know why. So let me see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more players. Are you now in? Yeah, you are in, huh? Yeah. Okay, now Euro's in. Rami is in. Um, okay, how many do we have now? Two more players. We need two more. B Royce, are you want to uh, you want to join as well? B Royce. I'm just going to see my friends list. Cool, thank you.
Okay, I hope hopefully this guy can join too. Where's Spectre? Oh, he's already in. Okay, one, two. Two more players. What a what a hell to set this thing up, man. Yes. No, I gonna spam. Yeah, it is. I gonna spam one more the the chat. We need two more players. I I'm sure we'll get it. I'm gonna try zone chat as well. Well, uh, why? Why is this? What? <laughs> why? Yeah, but why? Oh, he's logged off, but he probably logs in again. What? Is he just kicked out or something? It's weird that they just logged off. Uh, okay, I've got another one. No, oh, it doesn't look good at either. Yeah, this is wasting time. This is really wasting time, guys. I mean, like, you need to find 10 players, and if one loses patience, uh, and I look all the chats, but nobody's really responding, I think this is not working, to be honest. Yes, I'm gonna try. I think we're getting there now. Let me see, we're now at three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more players. Two more players. They got kicked out of the game, they say.
I can't get, can't get them in. What? Two more. Yes, I'm gonna try it. Yamada chat, good one. Found another. Okay, so one more person looking for one more. Well, one uh, minute ago, I thought, let's fuck this. This is not gonna work. Yes, got one. Cupcake, let's do this. Nice. And for still, for some reason, I don't fucking see that mission. I see only Crystalline. Where is this mission? Starbase 24. Where is the mission, guys? I don't see the mission, uh, tell me. Oh, okay. I gonna send. I gonna, okay, we, we wait one second. He's, he's got a one moment to switch and then we're gonna do, uh, Yoda. And somebody says 20 people? No, I don't certainly hope not. Okay, he's switching, he's switching. <laughs> yeah, we should definitely do that. Hello, user. Yes, there we go. There we go. Finally. Let's let's start this kill fast. Oh, I really wonder how fast it will go in this particular mission. I'm almost there. It took me one hour to actually get uh, ten people in this uh, this live stream to join. In Starbase Twenty Four. Uh, it's a little bit exaggerated, one hour. This is an uh, easy level, I think, right? Don't tell me we needed to switch to the hard. Yes. Uh, 
Well, at least there's one good news, and that's uh, I'm uh, able to do an, uh, another Argala system after this one. <laughs> I don't see any Klingons anywhere. We need to kill six more, but uh, and just fly in some de debris. Okay, uh, somebody says we kill them too fast, they need to respawn. Okay, uh, let's wait for it. <sighs> Sometimes this game can be really, really a pain in the ass, waiting for 10 more people to get them in, and when you finally got them in, you get this crap. But it gives me some time to get me a nice cup of coffee, be right back. Good, uh, good uh, morning. I'm back. Sorry. How did uh, the slaughter fest going on? I see uh, we killed at least one more. Cool. And uh, nobody uh, jumped in again. This was it. Oh, I see. I see here uh, three. They're all mine. Oh, but it was, yeah. And this. Oh, there we go.
third place. I have no comments to this game at the moment. No comments. This this was ridiculous, man. Yeah. This was ridiculous. Okay, let's. Uh, I, yeah, I just gonna queue one arena because I need some fun now after grinding and leveling. It's yeah. Oh wait, wait, we're still in a crew group, that's good, we can, I, if that's the case, then we can do it again, but then, oh, there's a crew down. No, wait, we can do a hard one. There we go. I, everybody forced in the crystalline, <laughs> hard one. Yeah. I need to watch out. I don't have got any um, Zalt rate on, so if I die, I die. Second place. <laughs> and Neil was first place. Yeah, I need to need to level it up. Um, I'm uh, halfway there. We're still in the Q group, I see. So what we can do more with this crew group that we have got now at the moment. Um, Oh, sorry, Darren. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Yeah, yeah the, there's a cooldown. Yeah, there is. Uh, what we can do more? Yeah, there's nothing that we can do more. Nothing. So, um, yeah. We have got a nice queue group with a lot of people, but there's nothing that we could do at the moment. So I'm going to leave this uh, queue group and um, yeah, I'm uh, going to ask if uh, I can uh, join a free mate and let's queue for the arena at least one more time before I'm going to put myself in another gala system.
You want to join as well, um, Marcel? Thank you. That's um, that's. Uh, it was a pleasure to fly with you as well, man. And uh, yeah, say hello to uh, the other uh, Kairbutai members if you see them. Thank you, man. Thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you too, man. Bye, bye. Okay. Uh, B Royce perhaps wants to join. It's bugging. Okay, let's just do this. How I will do in this ship, I have no idea. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna jump to the Arcala system. I think my cooldown is over. Okay, so um, for everybody who's watching, hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Please, if you like the stream, give a like, and if you like the stream, stream more than a like, then subscribe. I used for the first time this Sona Intel Battle Cruiser today. I made a build for it, which is uh, which you can see if you go back into the stream. I uh, completely. Um, you see me build it from scrap to this. Now I'm trying to um, unlock this trait and uh, activate it to see how good it is. It's an awesome trait. Whenever I hit something with a uh, high hue torpedo, it uh, creates an anomaly, which you probably can use on a control build or on a torpedo build. Um, my Odyssey is uh, not using a high hilt but it gets a free high hilt from an intel trade that i'm using so i'm gonna try it on the odyssey see how it works i really like torpedoes uh, and now i'm just leveling it up i'm cute for the arena as well but um i just try in the meanwhile to upgrade this uh, ship it's not my intention to fly it uh, a lot just uh, now uh, to upgrade uh, to get the trade of it and so I can use it on the Odyssey. Uh, the ship has a low turn rate. Um, but I try to increase it with Trace Momentum and Helmsman. I'm using some consoles as well to increase it. Uh, it's a little bit weird that it has a slow turn rate. Um, if you compare uh, to the fact that uh, you can actually put cannons on it. So right now I'm using the Argala system to um, to level up the shield of uh, the ship. Earlier in the stream I opened 20 boxes for the lobbies. Didn't get anything special from it. As you can see I've got a lot of nice crit hits. That's I'm almost there. Okay. 
Okay, now is the time to warp out. Oh yeah, I still need to uh, see what kind of uh, packet reward I got from the end of our uh, anniversary or what a, whatever kind of uh, thing is going on. See what I got from it. Probably only ACs. Oh, kill some crap. I like the ship. I really have no idea how it will do in PvP, to be honest. I don't think that well because it's got a really slow turn rate. Uh, what I do like about it is it's got some intel ability, so I can put surgical strikes on it, but the stats on it is overall pretty decent. Nice hull. Pretty nice hull, to be honest. Okay, what was in the Endeavor pack? Hey, only AC, so 350k. I'm not impressed. Okay, one more gala. Probably some uh, like three times more, and uh, I did it. In the meanwhile, I'm still cute for the arena. Yes, we are. The Bantam Guard Cruisers are really nice ships. They give you actually the, uh, if you can obtain one from a Lux box or from the exchange, whatever, they can give you an awesome trait. It's called Viral Torpedo. It shut down your target for a couple of seconds. It's not a torpedo launcher, it's a trait. I'll show you. It was, when it first came out, an amazing, uh, uh, powerful thing. Later they, uh, they um, nerfed it, but uh, you can disable your uh, enemy for five seconds. So if you've got a torpedo build, it's really nice. Put it on. Uh, same with the new trait that comes from this ship that you can put as well on a uh, torpedo build. Whenever you've got a high yield, you can create an anomaly on your target. That's why the ship is pretty nice. I'm not using any torpedo builds, but uh, if you are using a torpedo build, the ship might be interesting for you. At least for the trade that comes with it. So what are you guys doing in TeamSpeak? Tell me.
Oh, nice. I need to do that too. Yeah, you just started a new fleet. Is it a part of the uh, Armada, the 10th Fleet Armada? Cool. Take a look at my fleet as well. Yeah, there's not much that's running. Hello, user. Everybody's so shy when they. Uh, Toblin Man. Hello, Toblin Man. You don't have a microphone, I see. You're probably watching the stream. Thank you for that. Oh, and I... Fuck, I just finished it. I'm so stupid. <laughs> well, I, I at least didn't uh, take the pack, so I can do it two more times. Am I almost there? Let me see. Mastery. Yes! I've got it. I'm done. I don't have to do this anymore. It took me like seven Japoris. Uh, well, at least one hour to uh, um, grind this uh, trade out, and um, let me see. Hello, uh, Tobli man. You're uh, watching the stream, I think. Uh, I'll give you. Uh, oh, you're from. Uh, I'll give you an um, tag. So uh, you can always jump in here without any problems. Thank you. If you're not a member, uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, thank you, man. If you want to run something together, we can do after this uh, arena match that uh, we're queued for at the moment. So uh, if you want to join the arena, you can do that too, of course. I really want to test this uh, thing out now. So what I gonna do now? I gonna trade my torpedo spread to a high yield. Uh, but I need to learn him that. Perhaps I can change this to tie. Tie. Um, where is it? No, it's not gonna work like this. Yeah, I think I need to uh, do some training. Yeah, I need to hurry myself to Earth Space Dog. Or perhaps I can buy buy it high yield. Yes, I'm just gonna buy it. Okay, perhaps uh, I can uh, test it out on uh, use anti-proton overload APA for spread and damage buff. Uh, can you specify, Darren? I'm not sure uh, AP, uh, what uh, 
Alva, Papa, Oscar. You don't need beam overload. Yes, I. Why I'm using it is because of the the duty officers that I'm running, my friends. That uh, gives uh, beam overload, right? But that's why I've got beam overload on it. But I don't need it, that's true. I can drop it out. But now I'm just gonna test out the. Um, the uh, Perhaps we can do a test run, uh, Darren. So we do a test run, see uh, how good that trade is actually. To see it active. I'm gonna remove this one. And let's see what uh, what it does. Okay, what it does: damage caused by your high high heel torpedoes and trans transport warheads will cause a subspace tear to form near the damaged target. This anomaly, which which will chase down the nearest foe, causing a psychological damage and draining engine subsystem power to any enemies it encounters. Hitting with high heat or transport warhead spawns a level 61 subspace tier and it will chase down the nearest foe or causing 1.111.18 damage and current minus 5 engine power to all foes, foes within 1 kilometer. Only occurs in a certain certain circumstances. Need to be fast. Okay, let's do it fast then. Okay, I'm gonna test it out, see how it works. I put it on. Yes, I put it on. Let's see. Give him his uh, high heels. And I gonna test it out. Will it work? Is it powerful? It took me uh, all the time that I'm online now to uh, to get this uh, thing going. I'm streaming now for three hours. It took me three hours to unlock that trade almost. I don't got any Zol on him on uh, on my trades at the moment, so okay. Let me let me test this, this thing out. There comes the uh, torpedo hit. Let's see. I didn't see anything happen yet. Okay, hopefully it gives me a chance to fire that thing. <laughs> okay, wait w one second, uh, Darren. Let me try to. There it went fire. There is the anomaly, and it's gone. That was it. I didn't parse it, but that was actually the thing that that should happen. I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm gonna remove my auto fire and see if it hits. Okay, I'm gonna ask if you can sit still for a second. Okay, there it comes, Darren. And there's the anomaly. And what does it do with him? Not that much, I think. I think it's a waste of a uh, space slot. I'm gonna try it one more time. Did it disable you?
there's the anomaly. But uh, I'm not impressed by this thing. I'm gonna try one more time. No, it doesn't do that much. This uh, this thing is not uh, not impressive at all. Took me three hours to grind it. The trade is not worth it. It's not worth it. Perhaps uh, in an um, I don't know. Okay, uh, let's uh, just uh, do a one v one then. Just finish it with a little bit of fun, and then uh, the the winner uh, wins and the loser loses. Uh, like one kill or something. It's like gravity, yeah. So he said, did nothing special. It's like gravity a uh, little bit. Okay, I agree. I'm ready for this uh, one v one a little quick, and then he can have his dinner and. So the ships will end up in dry dock. It didn't impress me. It's hard to get him in front. I need to have him in front, otherwise, otherwise I cannot fire at him. I've got uh, all my cannons in front. It's got only 90 degrees arc weapons, and I've got a low turn rate, which is as well bad from this ship. But it seems it can handle a punch. Uh, there it burns. <laughs> it's really hard to get him in front. Yeah, it's it's smart. I mean, like he can fly circles around me, and I just try to get him in front, so I can hit. <laughs> but it's really hard. So that way, this ship is not PvP-wise um, a good ship. Uh, if you've got um, cannons on it. Oh, look at this! That was a nice hard hit I had on him.
I don't have got any soul on, on myself, so if he's smart, he tried to kill me. I, I don't have a second chance like him. <laughs> you see if he gets in front of my ship he has some trouble because I'm definitely burning him then It's uh, quite annoying to uh, fly PvP in the ship as fair as an escort because, as you can see, I'm fighting to get him in front. And just when I've got him in front, I hit hard, but then he's on my side again, and then I cannot hit him only with my, with my turn. So I'm wasting all my evasive maneuvers to get him in front. And every time when he's in front, he's not <laughs> even long enough in front to uh, to activate my cannons. So this ship is definitely not for PvP. It's uh, a pain in the ass for PvP. The turn rate is too low. The trade, we tested it out, it's not worth it. So it's, in my opinion, just another uh, expensive... Uh, uh, gadgets that everybody wants to have, but there is no really something special about it. There is nothing uh, that impressed me about this ship. So in that way, I'm glad when I'm back in my old slow turner, the Odyssey, that uh, cannot have cannons, because it shouldn't handle cannons, it should handle beams. I don't know why he's still in front of me, but... And somebody said, use Surgical Strikes 3. Then it's excellent for player versus player. Um, Adam says that. I, I agree, perhaps. 
if you uh, are able to get an escort in front of you. But like, uh, as you can see, it's really hard. If I'm, I'm playing now face an escort, and I don't... Uh... Okay, mate. Thank you for the test. Um, that's auto fire. Uh, why I don't think this uh, ship works in PvP is because if you're fighting, for example, now uh, an escort or a pilot ship, and you don't get them in front with 90 degrees weapons, then, um, uh, yeah, what's the use of it? I put cannons on it. It doesn't work on this ship for sure. Perhaps if you put beams on it, um, then it would work nicer. The stats of this ship, it's got really nice hull, uh, nice shooting, uh, nice damage resistance as well. I could make a nice, quite decent uh, anti-proton build on it with a lot of DPS, but uh, it turns like, like crazy. This is, it's like a brick. It's look at it's stone it turns so slow, and if you look at it, uh, it's got an aerodynamica from a boomerang, so it should turn perfectly. So it's it's just against all laws of physics. I mean, like, a ship like this should turn perfectly, but it doesn't. And I tried everything to put more turn rate on it. For example, this, uh, this console is the RCS console to get more turn rate. This uh, to get more turn rate. This to get more turn rate. This to get more turn rate. I put as well traits on it, the momentum trait. I'm using the uh, helmsman trait. I'm even putting on the command uh, strategic maneuvering. But um, still, it turns not at all. I mean, like, it's if you fight an escort, <laughs> you have basically have no chance because I don't get it in front. If I, for example, select my um, uh, my um, cannon, you see how much stir of how much arc I have in front, and look at it. For example, if it's on my side now, and I I want to focus it. it takes a long time and it can turn like 60 times faster than I am so this ship for me is a no-go the trade that comes with it is not impressive at all if you could see uh, you, you saw it so uh, and it took me a long time uh, Adam says beams with crit D when you could destroy escorts like no tomorrow great fits by the way Thank you, uh, man. Thank you for your uh, your compliments. So uh, basically, um, for me, this ship is no go. I gonna put it in dry dock. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not for me. Uh, I gonna jump back into the Flying Dutchman, and I gonna have dinner myself as well. So everybody, thank you for helping me leveling up this ship, uh, and uh, thank you for being a part of the stream if you were and. Uh, Thank you everybody. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Um, I think it was not that good stream to be honest. Um, but uh, the overall I, I got ni now a now, nice video about this ship. So I'm gonna rename this uh, this video. Um, yeah and uh, I like the console that comes with it. Uh, but it's bound. It's bound to this uh, ship as well. If I had both ships then what would it do exactly? 20% plasma energy weapon damage uh, out of combat plus 20% hull generation per minute in combat plus 10% hull generation. Nice. But uh, like I said, I'm not impressed by this ship. I did my best. I put a decent build on it. Um, I think. I thought if you can uh, put uh, cannons on uh, the ship, I would definitely try it. I like it more than beams. But this build, this ship is not meant for cannons at all. So, I hope you uh, guys enjoy this, guys. I'm gonna log off now. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, and uh, i see you guys uh, soon. And uh, Ten Fleet, thank you as well uh, for being uh, a part of uh, the stream, guys. Spectre, welcome back. And Sydney, thank you as well for uh, watching, man. And i see you, uh, see you uh, guys uh, very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.